For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. years for how long can this go on today is international human rights day what a shame how cynical to have this decision on this day and in fact every time we have a hearing more we know more about the abusive nature the criminal nature of this case Julian exposed the crimes of CIA torturers, of CIA killers, and now we know that those CIA killers were planning to kill him too. How can this court... How can these courts approve an extradition request under these conditions? It's not unexpected. This is a highly political case, and it's interesting that the judges have uh, accepted um, the assurances of the United States government uh, from a government to a government. So there was no issue at law. Uh, they accepted diplomatic assurances based on diplomatic note, uh, which is a sign of the political nature of this um, case. The fight continues to free Julian Assange. It's unacceptable by our society that a journalist and a publisher is facing prosecution, facing 175 years in jail for publishing truthful information in the public interest. A fight continues at courts, in the streets and in every forum to free Julian Assange and to stand up for what's right. Wikileaks publications are 100% accurate. Julian Assange is an intellectual, a peaceful man and he does not deserve the treatment that he has. This is a relentless pursuit for the last 10 years and it has to stop. A travesty of justice, that's what it is. That's what the UK High Court's decision to accept the US appeal on the extradition of Julian Assange is. It's a travesty of justice. Uh, the High Court accepted US diplomatic assurances that Julian Assange would not be placed in solitary confinement um, and would not be in a maximum security prison. These diplomatic assurances aren't worth the paper they're written on. Julian Assange could face trial under the Espionage Act, uh, but also there's a real risk that he faces serious human rights violations due to the condition of detention uh, that he will be put under. Uh, this extradition, if it goes forward, will pose a serious threat not only to press freedom in the United States, but throughout the world. It should stop. Well, I'm disappointed in the in the verdict. I think it's remarkable that any fair-minded person, let alone a judge, um, could uh, look at the United States, um, see, and this was introduced in evidence in the discussions um, before, um, that the United States um, its security services were attempting to either kidnap or assassinate Assange, and think that the assurances given to them by the very same state um, are valid. Um, that's disappointing. Um, but it won't be the end of this. This won't be the last day in court. Um, uh, Julian's lawyers will be appealing this to the Supreme Court. Um, and uh, indeed, we have the possibility of appealing, as the judge said, over uh, all the other aspects of the case, the political dimensions of the case, um, that uh, the district judge ruled against in the original hearing. So this is uh, by no means the end of the, uh, of the argument. Uh, it's incredibly unfair that during this whole process, Julian Assange, who has committed no crime, is charged with no crime, is a remand prisoner uh, in, this, uh, in this country, isn't allowed out on bail. 
Uh, the district judge refused the bail request when it was last made. I'm sure that Julian's lawyers will be considering making another one. I hope that the judicial system um, steps back from the punishment by process, which is what's happening now. They're holding somebody who has not been convicted of a crime, perpetually in jail, um, while the court proceedings take place. Thank you.